The weather forecast for this afternoon actually says rain, but as you can see, it's clearly not raining. I still came here nevertheless, hoping that the weather will shift. So um, I'm still hoping that the weather's gonna shift because as you know, harsh light, not quite my kind of photography. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna stay here for a good while and hope that the clouds come in and some rain comes. Otherwise, this might be a failed photography mission, I don't know. But I mean, I'll try to make the best of it anyways, so even if the light is harsh, I might get a few shots here and there. I've got the GoPro with me to take you with me. So yeah, let's see how this goes. So that was the first third of this day. It came out quite all right, I would say. As you might have noticed, I went for a slightly nostalgic, maybe again dreamy kind of editing style. I wanted the photo to feel a little old. Anyway, here I moved on from the forest already and was setting up the camera on the tripod here to make a little experiment. You are about to witness me doing some strange movements in front of the camera. You'll understand what for in a second. So this is what I was aiming for. I actually took that video that you just saw and exported five frames from it to blend them together like this to create this photograph, which I think turned out quite cool. It's pretty interesting. I moved on to the walking trail that goes around the lake and decided to photograph the lake again. What caught my attention here were the flowers in front of me, which I was aiming to use as a foreground for the photo. Here's what I got. Again, I went for this pretty strongly saturated look which I found fitting here. I like how the composition worked out. The flowers are just the way I had imagined actually, and I think it adds a nice layer to the photo. Dude, why is the sun back? <laughs> oh, I need clouds and rain. So yeah, the weather was not exactly on my side that day, but nevertheless I kept moving and walked along this way to the side of the trail. So this is not the official trail, I have no idea where this is going. This led me to an open area which looked like a potential photo spot. Oh, and then I saw this, and I wasn't quite sure if I might have already stood in one. So looking at the location, I had the idea to try a slightly abstract, super wide-angle self-portrait, therefore I got out the Samyang 14mm lens. Alright, uh... Hmm... I set up the camera on the tripod to then set a timer and run into frame to make a weird pose. This episode, by the way, is full of weird posing by me. You are about to witness my struggle of getting a self-portrait. I took quite a lot of photos until I got one I was happy with. Here it is. I have to say, I like that abstract pose I somehow got there. The editing is also slightly abstract, I made it a bit washed out as you can see. I also made an additional version with the previous frames to create a similar photo as the one at the beginning of this session. Next, I turned around to set up the camera on this side to get another abstract self-portrait. Isn't this artsy? I don't know, I find abstraction always makes things look more artsy. And these photos came out quite alright, but I prefer the first ones I got at this location. Oh, 
after that little detour, I came back to the trail and found another open space where I tried another self-portrait. Here they are. I like the photos, but I don't really think they're special or anything. I would love to see this one in rainy weather conditions with low clouds. I think that would make a super post-apocalyptic looking photo. I suppose that's for another day. I continued my way along the trail and my attention got caught by a bunch of farns, so I switched my lens back to the Tamron to get some shots of these. Here are the photos, they turned out alright. Right after shooting those, I saw an interesting scene in the distance and got this shot. It doesn't look all that interesting actually. Continuing on the trail, I was coming close to the lake itself and saw these farns everywhere, so I got another shot. I find these plants so aesthetically pleasing. Maybe it's just me, but maybe someone can relate. The photo is a fine addition to my ever-growing collection of farn photos, but not really outstanding or anything. Ooh, the rain is here. So now, the weather did turn to my side, and conveniently I was right by this shed, which turned out to be a cool photography subject. The two photos are quite alright. I found another angle from where I could shoot this shed, with more of the environment around the shed also included in the photo. Here's the shot, and I'm fond of this one. I like the multiple layers to this photo, with the shed being the main subject, and then also seeing the lake behind it, and the overall stormy mood is of course something I'm liking, as you know me. So yeah, I'm quite happy with this one. Next, I walked up closer to the lake and saw the other side, which I thought could be an interesting scene. And indeed, I like the outcome. Obviously, I did go a little extra with the editing here, but I like it. So the rain seemed to have been only a short gust of it. By now, it had stopped and I was making my way back to where I began. On the way, I came across this field from where I saw a potential composition in the distance. Stand, but actually looks quite decent. Ah, hoo -hoo. This might be the photo of the day, I don't know yet, but uh Ooh. I just tried this shot probably eight times or so. <laughs> it's quite tiring to run all that way all the time, but oh am I glad to have done it because uh that there is exactly the composition I was trying to get and the pose is looking quite all right. Um, the other ones are always just almost all right, but not quite right. Ah, that's a good feeling that this shoot was now officially worth it. So yeah, I'm really satisfied with this photo. The composition just works so well I find. The mountain edges somehow act as leading lines into the middle and what I find so satisfying is that there's a payoff you could say in the middle, there's a subject that the lines lead to. And the sky in the background is a little dramatic which I think is quite cool, so I declare this photo to be the photo of the day. So on my way back to the car to head home, I came across one more potential photo spot. 
I found this wide open field here and I was thinking of getting a slow shutter photo of me walking through an entirely green frame. I set up the camera on the tripod, set a timer and then ran off into the distance, into the wet field, getting my feet absolutely soaked and hoping that I'm in frame. I checked the photos and repeated the process a couple more times to get better results and ended up with these here. I like the minimalism of the photos and also the abstract look of the slow shutter. I also edited a version in which I combined multiple photos. This also came out quite cool I think. Those were the last photos of the day. After shooting those I walked back to the car and headed home. As usual, please leave your thoughts and opinions in the comments below. I'm curious to know whether you agree with my choice of the photo of the day or if you prefer a different one. I hope you enjoyed this episode and maybe I could possibly inspire you to go out and do some photography yourself, maybe also go a little experimental like I did here. Anyway, if you enjoyed it, I'd appreciate you leaving a like, it helps me and my channel out to grow a little bigger, consider subscribing if you haven't yet, and I hope to see you again next week in the next video. Until then, goodbye.